Okay, welcome back. We are going to make a program today that helps us guess a secret number. Um, so a secret number guesser. Um, in your design view, you're going to need uh, three objects, so two labels and a button. Um, the label should say something like guess the secret number. Um, the empty label we're going to use as a cheat so we can uh, test your game and see what the secret number is and you can always remove that later. And then we'll have a button um, that I call uh, BTN start. So I'll throw that up on the screen so you can create it. Okay, let's go to our code. Um, so we're going to have one global variable, uh, the secret number. We are going to make it global because we're going to be using it in a function or procedure later. Um, and we're going to have our click event that basically handles our game. Um, so btn start click. Um, other variables we're going to need are guess and end game. And here we go. So I broke this up into a bunch of different functions. Um, and I think I got a procedure in there too. So we're going to uh, code this after, but a uh, function called get secret number. So that's basically going to give us a number between 0 and 10. And we'll store that in our secret number variable. Um, then I'm going to update my cheat label, so I'm just going to tell myself what the secret number is, so I can uh, cheat and guess or uh, create my or make sure my game's working properly when I'm testing it. Um, in the loop, I'm just going to loop while end game is uh, not equal to true, and I'm going to get the user guess. So here is me using a function. So I'm going to use my function get guess and store whatever value that is back in my variable guess, which is just an integer. Um, then I'm going to check that guess. So here's a, a procedure call. So I'm going to call check guess. I'm going to pass it what the user's guess was, um, what the secret number is, um, and the end game. And, and that's why this needs to be global. It's going to get used in a bunch of different places. Um, right. And then uh, last thing, I'm going to display the appropriate message and update the value of end game. So I use a procedure for this. Um, could it could have been a function, but it just felt better to use a procedure. So end game is going to get um, passed the display message and we will pass it by reference so that we can actually um, edit the value of end game and actually change it um, and end this while loop if we need to. Okay, let's take a look at our first uh, function here. So get secret number and it's going to basically compute the secret number um, that we're going to use in the game. So this only happens one time. So here's my function, no parameters. Um, I'm just going to have a variable called x, which is going to represent my secret number. Um, I randomize, and then I use my formula to get a number between 0 and 10. So this we've seen before. Um, but yeah, I get the integer value of 10 times R and D, which is going to give me a value between 0 and 10. And then I got my return statement here. Okay, so return x this function needs to know or needs to know like what what is that value um, I should have over here I should say as integer um, if you don't declare it uh, VB anyways will figure out well you know he's returning an integer so obviously this function needs an integer but just good programming technique would be to have as integer at the end there um, perfect so there's get secret number um, get guess uh, here it is, so it's going to get uh, the guess from the user and return that value back to our click event. Um, so again, it's a function I should, you know, again, add as integer here. So we have a return type, but if you don't, VB will figure it out. Um, I got my constant prompt, um, just saying enter guess between 0 and 10. Um, X is going to represent that user guess. Um, and then I put it in a little loop just to make sure that I never get a value that's less than 0. Um, or bigger than 10. So I'm going to keep looping this um, if the user enters less than 0 um, or something bigger than 10, it's going to not satisfy that condition. So this is going to keep coming up. So again, I'm getting the integer value from an input box that's saying, you know, guess my number between 0 and 10. And then I return that value at the end. Okay, now we got our last two procedures here. Uh, so the first one is check guess. Um, and yeah, this is going to check and see if the user guess is actually equal to the secret number. Um, and this is also the place where we are going to change the value of was correct. So I call it was correct over here, but in my click event, that is my, uh, my variable for the one that runs the loop. So that's actually my end game. So end game actually represents was correct in my code. So back here. So whether or not we're going to change end game. 
So if we're going to set it to true or keep it as false. So I'm just going to remind you that when you do that, um, because we're actually going to maybe change a parameter, that parameter is going to be declared by reference so that we're allowed to modify its value. Okay, so uh, I just put an extra note here, like by value lets you pass a value so the procedure can use it. So procedure can use it but not change it, that's by value. By reference passes it in such a way that you can actually modify that variable. Okay, so if we look at the parameters here, we got sub check guess. Um, my number is the, uh, I believe, the user guess. Uh, the number, which is also by val, um, that's the secret number. And then by reference was correct as Boolean, so that is my uh, Boolean for the, for the loop. Okay, and you'll notice it's by reference because I am going to be possibly changing this. So just one simple if statement. So if the user guess otherwise or the number is equal to the number, as in the secret number, then I'm going to change was correct to true because we're going to exit out that loop and the game's over. Um, and there's that one. So for display message, um, it's going to display the appropriate message depending on whether or not the player was correct. So we need to know the value of was correct. So here we don't need it to be by reference. We're not changing it. We're just looking at the value. So if was correct is true, we're going to say, hey, good job. You got the secret number. And that's why it needs to be declared globally because it gets used in this procedure. Of course, I could have passed it um, to the procedure, but I chose not to. I just made it a global variable. Um, and then otherwise, um, so in the case that was correct is false, we'll just say guess again. All right. Thanks for joining us for this tutorial. Have a good day. Bye-bye.